एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू शॉर्ट ट्यूटर वेर वी सिंप्लीफाई बिजनेस फंडामेंटल्स इन टू इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड कॉन्सेप्ट टुडे लेट्स टॉक अबाउट अ गेम चेंजिंग टूल यूज्ड बाय क्वालिटी एंथुसियास्ट वर्ल्ड वाइड टू इंप्रूव प्रोडक्ट एंड सर्विस क्वालिटी द टूल इज क्यूएफडी और क्वालिटी फंक्शन डिप्लॉयमेंट एज अ कस्टमर यू माइट हैव स्पेसिफिक नीड्स लेट्स से इफ यू वांट टू बाय एन इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल यू वुड लुक फॉर सेफ्टी रेंज एंड स्पीड राइट बट हैव यू एवर वंडर्ड हाउ कंपनीज ऐड योर नीड्स इनटू दैट प्रोडक्ट for companies it's not as simple as asking the production team to improve safety that's subjective right how will a production engineer know what to work on that's where qfd comes in a methodology that translates customer needs into specific operational requirements qfd was originated in the late 1960s at bridgestone tires and mitsubishi heavy industries where they used quality charts to include customer requirements in their product design processes the most popular tool in qfd is the house of quality which connects subjective customer needs to objective product design priorities confused let's see how the same ev company can use house of quality concept to enhance its product offering first they built the left wing listing customer requirements like safety range and space they rank this on a scale of 1 to 10 based on service next they build the attic of the house which represents design requirements basically how things are done in the company below the attic is a separate row that shows the direction of improvements for each design requirement for example battery capacity should be high while vehicle weight should be low some factors like battery type don't have a direction but only a target and those are indicated accordingly above the attic is the roof which shows correlations between design requirements like increasing battery capacity will certainly increase vehicle weight and thus has a strong positive relationship and so on on the right wing they add competitor analysis using a scoring system from 1 to 5 based on customer requirement in the center the map relationships between customer needs and design requirements using scores like strong medium or weak for example insulating material is strongly related with safety whereas weakly related with price Finally the foundation calculates priority scores for each design requirement based on importance factors setting clear action priorities and it's just not one house each house outputs data for the next moving from design requirements to part requirements process requirements and finally production requirements this is how qfd bridges the gap between what customers want and how companies deliver it creating a win win for everyone That's all for now. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Short Tutor. See you soon.